Start at verse 4. Hallelujah. Glory, 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 glory. Mighty God, mighty God. Yes. 
Yeah. 
Honestly, up until today, there's still people that only think most God spoke to Moses. There's only people that think of God only spoke to, 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 to the sun and told the sun what to do and told the moon what to do and told the stars what to do, right? Like God ain't got a real voice. It's something when you, you know the voice of God, he calls you his sheep. That's my sheep, know my voice. That's what he said, right? So they don't go all over, they ain't going to get tricked or bamboozled by nothing and nobody, deceived by no one, because they know his voice. When I was younger, and I thought I heard the voice of God, you know whose voice I really heard? My parents. So then his voice comes to authority. So let's mark that down. Authority. If you ain't got no authority in your life, don't think you're about to hear from God. If you hear from God, it'll be through a jackass. That, that's the book. That's the book. If you have no authority in your life, the only way you're going to hear from God is through something else that you think ain't even good enough to hear from. It'll humble you real quick. Right? So, but when I was younger and I, I was coming into things and I thought I was getting a little grown. You know, I don't know how it goes. You get a little grown. Oh, I gotta tell you. <laughs> you get a little grown. You start to, what they, what they would say, steal your oats. Is that what they say? Smell yourself. So, yeah, smell yourself. First thing, you start going through stuff and you see stuff and you think you're grown and then the next thing you hear is a no. And then you say, Mom, well, that, where y'all at? That wasn't them. It was the voice of God coming from something that you knew couldn't be deceived. See, God, God play with us. He ain't not going to trick us. He ain't going to deceive us and he ain't going to take us through the mulberry bush or nothing. Like he came to, to, to Joshua. He said, Moses is dead. Flat out. He was telling him who his authority was and now how he has to move. My, my servant Moses, he dead. Wow. Y'all hear what God said? Moses is dead. But I'm still talking. What you thought was your God is probably dead. Come on. But the true and living God is still talking. Yes. The true and living God is still walking. Yes. The true and living God is still telling you to keep on moving. That's right. Don't stop. All right, so Moses, my servant, is dead, verse 2. Now therefore arise, go over this Jordan, thou and all this people, unto the land which I do give to them, even, the children, even to the children of Israel. Every place that the sole of your foot shall tread upon, that have I given unto you, as I said unto Moses. So this wasn't Moses' promise. This wasn't Abraham's promise. This wasn't even, he said, I even gave it to the children of Israel. That means it wasn't even the children of Israel's promise. It was God fulfilling his word promise. Because no matter what goes on, God is still going to fulfill his word. God is still in control of all things that we don't think he's in control of. God don't stop just because we stop. God don't stop just because the time is ticking and winding down on us. God keeps going. And it's for us to reverence that word in which he said. Not reverence what we see. Not reverence what's going on. Now God said this man was your land way back before Moses. Actually, he told Abraham that. The second that, that, that uh, uh, Melchizedek paid the tithe unto Abraham, that man was his. Yeah. That's important, man. Let's turn to Genesis 14. 14. 14. I want to make sure we understand where that I want to make sure everybody understands why Israel or Jerusalem was this land that God had given to Abraham. Because nowadays we think that because the land was, that's why God is. Because now we're still praising and we're still worshiping the land. And God said it's only the land because they have a covenant with it. Okay. All right. So, uh, where's my chest? <laughs> Verse 17, 14 and 17. I'll read it a little bit. And the king of Sodom went out to meet him, uh, talking about Abraham, after his return from the slaughter of Chetoralamah. Yeah, that one. 
me your votes and I'll make sure you, you, you get all the funding you need. Come on, I'll make sure that folk keep tithing unto you even if they leave. We don't need your institutions, right? Because if you ain't including all of us the way that we want to be, then you can't be loving us. This can't be love. That's what they say. Now all of a sudden they, they know they got a PhD in what love is. You know, nobody know what love is. I'm telling you right now, love is a person. His name is Jesus. We got four whole books that talk to you. Honestly, 66 old books that talk just about this love. Yeah. But until you want to receive and accept That's the word right. of God and what he has said. That's so I'm right. still talking about speaking God. What God has said. Yeah. Stop trying to put words in God's mouth. That's it. And we're going to continue to be confused. Mm -hmm. Love without fruit is no love at all. No, boy. Where I just came from. But love without fruit is no love at all. Y'all remember that? Love without fruit is no love at all. So, I'm going back to uh, Abraham and Melchizedek. <laughs> so, um, oh yeah, yeah, and I was telling you all the whole story, right? So, Abraham, he went back to go get his nephew and them, because everybody else is tripping. <laughs> right? I just make it funny. So, <laughs> everybody else is tripping. Everybody else want to do their own thing, engage in their own relationships, in relationships that God didn't even make a man and a woman for it, right? right? Man with man, woman with woman, everybody all together at the same time, doing whatever they want to do, how they want to do, and I trust and believe me, it's happening today. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. However they want to do, when they want to do it, whatever. Yeah. He was going to take his daughters, yeah. right? Well, he going to take his daughters. Yeah. 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 He was giving them away. <laughs> wow, they had, how can you pimp your daughter? Oh, Come on. Oh, he was that too. Huh? And Abraham had to have sense enough to say, this is stupid. I'm sorry. This is crazy. What's going on here? This is not the God we talked about a lot. This ain't, he didn't give us this land for us to be acting like this. Come on, man. Like, I know because I came from a family that worshipped the moon. And this same God spoke to me. Still talking about oh, a seed, God. Right. Yeah. This right. thing God spoke to me and opened my eyes up. Mm -hmm. Not to see the things that I'm seeing because he desires for me to be where we are going. Mm -hmm. He said there's a land for us, a promised land. Come on. Right? Yeah. So let's not mess this up. He said you look to the west, you look to the east, it's all yours. Let's not act like everyone else that he's telling us not to. Right? Right? Right. right. So Abraham is still growing, but you know, Abraham, he got a little gangster. So, <laughs> so it's a whole other issue. It's some type of thing. So I'll tell you that right now. This nephew was like his son. Remember, he ain't had no kids yet. Right? This nephew was like his son. And so he's like, well, I gotta go get my nephew. I got to go get him. And it was about how many kings was it and, and nations was it that was fighting? It's a lot, man, about to come now. <laughs> it was a lot. It was over five. <laughs> and so it was <laughs> So Abraham, he wasn't even a king, according to man's standard. But he went, he saddled up his army. He saddled up a few of his guys. He said, yo, we got to do this. We ain't playing no games. I'm sorry, Daniel. You know how to do it. So <laughs> I ain't playing no games. We're going to go after this. We're going to get what belongs Come to on. us. Come on. Yes, and we're going to get our family and keep our family. Amen. Right? Amen. I remember that. I'll get that at the end. So, Amen. he says, we going. So, when you get there, how many people did he kill? A lot. <laughs> Everybody. All the kings are seeing this. Like, who is this guy? Who is this man? We got to, uh, we got to say thank you. We got to give our hands to him something. We got, we got to show who, we got to ask who he is. Mm. And why is he killing everybody? <laughs> he just show up killing everybody. But he just came back to get his family. Yes, come on now. What's that movie? Take it. Mm. That was a movie. Yeah. Take it. Huh? 
But let God keep that man from getting his daughter back. <laughs> well, let go keep that man from getting his daughter back. It didn't matter how old he was, it didn't matter how far he was. He was going to track it, and he was going to find who had his daughter. And whoever got in the way, sorry for you. You were in the wrong business, buddy. Because you didn't violate the wrong family. Huh? And he exposed the whole business after he found his daughter. So much that they had to make three movies out of this because they kept coming back. <laughs> trying to get his daughter because they was mad that he didn't mess their whole industry up. How long did that one stop? Yeah, right. huh? You mess one part of his situation up, he's going to keep coming at you. Yeah. He's here what I'm saying. He's going to keep coming at you. So let's not just pray to get out of the situation. Let's pray to have the standard of God on the inside yeah. of us. So that whenever something comes against us, we can continue to do the same thing that we've always been doing. And the situation ain't doing nothing but helping our testimony. Come on, man. That's not true. Hello? Let the situation come. Let it hit me. Good. As much as you hit me, I'm going to hit you back hard. Y'all see black guys? Yeah. And the sister made that soup. Yeah. That whatever that hit him, whatever that hit and hit him and hit him, you can say they hit him, they just don't know. They think they hit him. But oh my God. Come on. Oh my God. Come on. Oh, oh, oh. Come on. Oh, I'm so happy. I'm sorry. But if they just keep hitting, they just keep hitting, they don't realize that the power of the most high is on the head. Yeah, because really that's that was it. <laughs> 
<laughs> when Abraham went to go get his nephew and his family, <laughs> the world saw it. Thank you, Jesus. 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 So much to
会神赐他手感。Speak in life. Speak in life. Speak in life at all times. We thank you, God, for being God as God is word. We thank you for being the true living God, the only true.
all because, see, this is what y'all got to realize. It wasn't because of the children of Israel. It was because of the high priest Melchizedek decided to say, I'm going to give God all access. All right. He was the first one to give God. This is why that's the land of God. Not because it's a special people. That's right. But because he said, how many years? 50,000 years ago.
judgments of God and put the question before the people of God, even before those who are not people of God. We ask the question, is God the judge? We say God's love, but God is a God of justice. He's a God of love. He's a God of design. He's a God of purpose. He's a God of plan, design. And the things that were written to us in the former days were written for our admonished admonishment. We're written for an example that we might learn of things that we are dealing with now to know that we serve the same God yesterday, today, and forever. Yes. He's the Lord. He changes not. Yes. And we, we understand that he does what he pleases. Can I buy you that? Yes. Uh, we're, we're, we've been hearing that we're in an age of grace. And we have come to the thought that God is not going to deal with us in the age of grace with all the wickedness going on, all the abominations going on. I asked a question uh, in Minter last week to the people of God, to the people of Sarah. Is God the same yesterday, today, and forever? Yes. And I asked the question, and it was just for me, Rick. Uh, does God feel the same way about abominations as he did in Noah's day yes. and in Ezekiel's day? Yes. Uh, does, does, did he change his mind no. about the way he feel about sin no. No. in Adam's day? No. Adam's sin caused all the corruption that we are dealing with today. Mm -hmm. uh, is God still good? Yes. yes. Is he going to be good tomorrow? Yes. Question, do we sometimes take advantage of his goodness? Yes, yes. we do. And as the Holy Spirit has been just, and those of you who have been involved with our study, we've been talking about in time, we've been dealing with uh, the love of God, the judgment of God. We have to come to this understanding that he works all things after the counsel of his own will. And the Bible says he does what he pleases in the heavens and in the earth. And so if God decides to do something different, he does not stop being the gracious and the good and the loving God because he's doing something that we can't comprehend. Amen. The Bible says his ways are past finding out. You yeah. can't, you got to talk to him and be yeah. in that zone and he will tell you what he's doing, what he wants to tell you. But sometimes God does things he don't tell you it does about. Right. And, and so I was glad when this passage of Revelation in Isaiah 26 came up in our lesson dealing with this God judge. In Isaiah 26, and I want you to look with me there. Isaiah 26 and 9. Look at verse 9. Glory to God. Now, I'm going to start at verse 1. <laughs> start at verse 1. In that day shall this song be sung in the land of Judah. We have a strong city. Salvation will God appoint the wall and walls. Open ye the gates that the righteous nations which keepeth the truth may enter in. Thou will keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on thee because he Let's read it again. My God. Verse 3. Thou will keep him in perfect peace. Who? Me. Who? Me. Say us. us. <laughs> Amen. Say me. Me. <laughs> Thou will keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on thee because he because he in thee. Verse 4. Trust ye in the Lord for don't stop. For in the Lord Jehovah is everlasting strength. For he bringeth down them that dwell on high. The lofty city he layeth in low. He layeth in low, even to the ground. He bringeth it even to the dust. Oh my God. The foot shall tread down even the feet of the poor and the steps of the needy. 
The way of the just is uprightness. Thou most upright does weigh the path of the just. He does what? Weigh the path of the just. God weighs each one of us. He, he, he weighs all that we say and all that we do. The Bible says in Proverbs 16, 1, the preparation of the heart of man and the answer of the tongue is from the Lord. All the ways of a man, the Bible says, are clean in his own eyes. But God weighed the spirit. But it says in that first verse, the preparation is plural of the heart in man. The preparation of the heart. God has to prepare our heart and feed us and give us truth. And our answer that we get will be from the Lord and we allow our hearts to be prepared in his way, his truth, in his life. And so it says, verse 7, the way of the justice of rightness, thou most upright, does weigh the path of the just. Verse 8, yea, in the way of the judgments, O Lord, have we waited for thee. The desire of our soul is to thy name and to the remembrance of thee. Verse 9, carefully. With my soul have I desired thee in the night. Yea, with my spirit within me will I seek thee early. Now, walk softly right here. For when thy judgments are in the earth, the inhabitants of the world will learn righteousness. Let's read it again. For when thy judgment, for thy what? For thy what? When God's judgment are in the earth, the inhabitants of the world will learn righteousness. Let favor be shown to the wicked. Yet will he not learn righteousness. In the land of uprightness will he deal unjustly and will not behold the majesty of the Lord. The Lord, when thy hands is lifted up, they will not see. But they shall see and be ashamed for the enemy at thy people. Yea, the fire of thy enemies for when the judgments of the Lord are in the earth, the word of the Lord said the world will learn righteousness. The world will learn righteousness. What do you think the Lord wants to learn these days? He wants us to learn righteousness. He wants us to come to an upright place in our walk. Because I, the Lord, go to and fro throughout the whole earth. Uh, not only shows us strong on behalf of those whose hearts are perfect towards Him, but His eyes go forth to and fro throughout the whole earth to behold the good and the evil. He's not just looking, just to be looking. Amen. He's looking for that heart that's right and perfect towards Him. Because he's about to do something strong and mighty in the pure hearts of those who walk with you. Are you listening this morning? And the Holy Spirit wanted me to bring this one passage out because we're wondering, and listen, uh, I'm not going to uh, tell you that we understand all that's going on. But I perceive by the word of the Lord and by the Spirit of God as he's been directing that God is dealing with the inhabitants of his word. And he's causing this world to shape, rattle, and roll with judgments that we can't comprehend. Things that we can't even understand. And don't think that God's not compassionate. Don't think that God's not tender towards what's going on. Oh, yes, he is. But the God of all grace, amen, sometimes has to step back and be daddy. And show all his kids, I'm in charge. Yeah. Amen. 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 I'm the authority That's in the earth. Amen. When I say stop, it shall stop. If I say continue, it shall continue. But let us 
us as people of God be in that place of reverence and respect unto the Most High. Let's be in a place of brightness and heart. Let us love one another. And let God be true in every man. Father, we thank you and we praise you, Lord God, for your word. We pray, Lord God, for your mercy, your mercies upon the land, Lord God, and the people. Lord, we repent, Lord God, of every ungodly thought, deed, and action on behalf of our nation, Father. We repent, repent for the pride, Lord God, the arrogance of our authorities, Lord God. And we ask God that you would cause, Lord God, a rising up, Lord God, those who you placed in strategic places, Lord God, to cry loud and spare, not lift their voice like a trumpet, Lord God, and show, Lord God, the right way, Lord. We thank and we praise you, Lord God, for all that you're doing and all that you're going to do in the midst, Lord God, of your world. This is your world, God. We humble ourselves before you, Lord God. Even this day, Lord. And we ask for your mercy, God. We ask for your forgiveness, Lord God. From the White House all the way down to the poorest house. But you part us, Lord God. Of every contrary thing, deed in action, thought, work that we have done. That the blessing, Lord, of your hand make rich. And that sorrow be removed. And that the joy of the Lord be, Lord God, the strength of God, of your people, and of all the people of the that they may see our Lord, our God, strong and mighty, and mighty in battle, and makes every wicked way. Save, Lord. Save. Deliver, Lord. Deliver, Lord. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Let your hands and give God praise. <laughs> Now, let's speak, Lord, and bring, Lord God, a 
end of despair. It's gone. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen.
in December because I want to be able to give, I'll take the, whatever we collect down to them before Christmas. So if you, you know, I'll have the official announcement next week, the flyer next week, but we're looking for hygiene, combs, brush, shampoos, conditioners, um, whatever you think of for women, and we're going to be a blessing this uh, season to the women's shelter. Well, she just reminded me to remind everyone about the podcast with Apostle uh, uh, <laughs> next week, but uh, I'll talk to you. This is okay. Oh, how y'all doing? <laughs> okay, so I recently started my business. Uh, I'm a health and wellness coach, so what I help with people was their the physical goals and their, also their mental goals. Because healthy is not only physical, it's also mental. Your mind has to be healthy when you're going through this process. So I sell Herbalife products. If you guys want to donate or join me on that process, I would greatly appreciate it. Um, I have a lot of different clients who said that I can help them so much. So if you guys want to talk to me about that, you can talk to me on the side after church. Uh, I can give my phone number out, out to you guys. Just let me know, okay? I, I did talk to her about hair. Keep it going. <laughs> She said healthy products. She didn't say no hair products. Nutritional products. Uh, amen. Nutritional products. Oh, amen. Amen. Excuse me. So we are um, uh, venturing out on our streaming. So um, uh, we will be starting our YouTube page. So we need subscribers in order to stream live. <laughs> so tell your friends because we need a thousand. Oh, oh, so, too. Yes, so we need a thousand yeah. subscribers in order to stream live. So um, please subscribe to our page. It's up okay. now. There's just probably one of these little purposes. How do we do it, Daniel? Just search for your Christian Assembly. Our logo is the picture. Okay. All right. So when you search for your Christian Assembly, you'll see the logo and you will know that that is our YouTube page. Please do it now. Yes, please do it now. Again, go to Google on YouTube. Yeah, go to YouTube.com and search for your Christian Assembly and you will see our logo and please hit subscribe. Thank you. That's for our Facebook people also. And also, uh, at this time, if there's anyone here that would like to become a member, uh, we are here for you. And if there's anyone here that would like prayer today, we are also here. Uh, that's it for today, isn't it? Amen. So, uh, our youth minister will come back and close us in prayer uh, and receive the offering and whatever. Amen. Whatever else there is to do. Love you guys. Love you. Love you too. <laughs> Show everyone. Wave at the people at Facebook. Hey. Hey. Love you. Love you. Love you. See you back. soon. Come on back. <laughs> <laughs> also, I want to say congratulations to our Jesus.
know that was a record timing for me. So that you know that was God. <laughs> so y'all wanna go? I can preach, I can start preaching again. Everybody sit down, y'all stand on the the seat on the offering. Y'all wanna be preaching again, I can say sit down. Father God, we thank you for thank you. bringing us here. We thank you for the abundance of blessings and opportunities on this week. God, we thank you for your voice being heard in each and every single life that is here, each and every life that's tuned in on today. God, I pray, Father, that you open up the windows of heaven, oh God, and shower down blessings that we can't even measure. God, and I thank you for, oh God, I thank you for starting at the top and going down to the bottom, oh God, and proving to us who you are on this week. God, protect us and keep us, oh God. I pray for the Hugh Little family, God. I pray for yes, the comfort, oh God, in this time of grief, oh God. I thank you, God, that they should be comforted by your word, your presence, oh God, by family, oh God, by, by the nice and calm words that we should sing, oh God, to keep them uplifted and encouraged, oh God. I pray, Father, that you will continue to keep us all, oh God. I pray for uh, Brother Davey, oh God, I thank you for continuing to heal them on oh this healing process, oh God. I thank you for what you have given to each and every single one of our lives, oh God. I pray, Father, that you will keep us immeasurably and keep us, oh God, faithful in what you have for us. And that change be round about us on this week. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 You have been over 1 through 14 of Joshua. Just meditate prayerfully in your character. You may let the Holy Spirit minister to your heart. And, and the Lord was showing me just the power of His might that's going to be manifested through this church in these yeah. last days. Uh, so just, just prayerfully and carefully, don't rush through it. Some of the words are names are funny, but work through it. <laughs> Something I say, I see it. That's right. <laughs> 